today. Peter Sajabi, the National Secretary for the East African Community Beneficiaries, was arrested by police detectives and grilled at CID headquarters. While at CID headquarters, Sajabi's lawyer tried to shield him with a newspaper. Who employed you for that? to just shield people like that. What's your work? Eh? Who employed you for that? Is this your office? No, you can can I have an interview? Sajabi is accused of recommending 1,018 alleged ghost pensioners who received 63 billion shillings between February and October 2011 alone. But his alleged accomplice and the chairman of the association, Santo Salima, today revealed that all the 1,018 names of ghost pensioners have never existed in the records of people who worked with the East African community. Somebody from my place, they wrote the name Sign name is a, a lady, but the, the, the second name is a, Christi, a Christian name, is a man's name. The allegation is that there is a presidential directive that all principal accounting officers from all ministries be transferred every after three years. But there are also allegations at this time that the principal accounting officer in charge of pension in public service, Christopher Bay, has been serving the ministry for the last 15 years without being transferred. This is the lavish home of Sajabi on Bunga Hill that was today combed by police detectives. It is not clear what the police detectives found here and at his other two private offices. According to our sources, <laughs> officials from the Ministry of Finance have also got to answer how and why they allegedly forwarded ghost names to Bank of Uganda for payment. It has also been discovered that over five banks received the payments and they too could form part of the investigations. It is alleged that Obey Christopher and his accomplice Kunsa Steven, the Commissioner for Pension, all deny having forged the names of the pensioners. However, there are also fears that the money loss could even be double since the investigations are so far limited to 2011. Sudil Biarhanga, NTV.